Hello, and welcome to Wellness Bites. Which meal is the high protein meal? Let's check the comparison between plant protein and animal protein. Let's start. The proteins we've got tofu versus ground beef tempeh versus salmon. Chickpeas versus chicken who's gonna come out on top stick around to find out. I'm sure we're gonna make someone mad. Whether it's the carnivores or the vegans but today we'll be talking about the benefits and downsides to choosing both plant or animal proteins and tell you what you need to know about which types of protein to include in your diet. Now when it comes to animal proteins, which foods are we talking about things like red meat, chicken, pork, fish and seafood, even proteins like eggs and dairy products like cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, regular cheese, even milk, those are going to be considered your animal-based protein foods when it comes to plant-based protein it's everything that comes from a plant so some protein-rich plant options are things that are made from soy whether that's tofu or tempeh or edamame you've also got nuts and seeds which contain some fat and protein whole grains have some protein in them really anything that comes from a plant is going to go into that plant-based protein category and anything that comes from an animal whether it's the muscle tissue itself like when you eat meat or fish or eggs and milk are considered animal proteins one of the biggest difference between these protein foods despite where they come from is their amino acid profile amino acids are the building blocks of protein we eat protein we break it down into amino acids in our body we absorb those and then we start to build them back up animal protein foods are a great source of amino acids they tend to have proteins together at meals but what we now know is that as long as you're eating a variety of protein foods throughout the day most people don't need to worry about about the amino acid profile of their specific foods so yes animal proteins definitely have more and a more robust amino acid profile but as long as you're consuming a variety of plant-based proteins you're going to get what you need beyond just including more protein in your diet including more forms of plant-based protein has shown to be beneficial for your overall health so people that choose more plant-based foods tend to have healthier hearts they tend to get more fiber in the diet and they tend to have a lower risk of other types of diseases so again eating more plants while they may be a little bit lower in protein have been linked in the research time and time again with better outcomes for your overall health there's also benefits to including animal protein rich foods in your diet as well people who consume an omnivorous diet that is a mix of animals and plants are less likely to lose muscle mass and have an easier time keeping muscle on it's not just about the protein strength training is important too but it's likely because those animal protein foods just have a higher volume of protein in them and it's easier to get enough animal foods also contains certain nutrients that are harder to get on a plant-based diet so not impossible but seafood and fish have omega-3s which are great for your brain your heart they're anti-inflammatory and they're a wonderful source of them again you can get those in plant-based foods it's just a little trickier red meat is a great source of iron and other minerals and vitamins that you can achieve on a plant-based diet it's just harder so there are a benefit to including those animal foods in your diet beyond just the amount of protein that they give you the downsides to plant-based proteins tend to be that eating more plant-based protein is typically coupled with a carbohydrate so beans are a wonderful 
category you can still absolutely include meat as part of a healthy diet. You just want to be mindful of the types of meat that you're choosing animal. Proteins also just tend to be a little bit more expensive you can absolutely make more economical purchases whether you're looking to buy and meet when it's on sale and freezing it in portions that you can take out and thaw when you're ready to make a meal what i want you to let us know what other questions you have about protein in the comments down below hope you enjoyed our video please subscribe our channel for watch new videos.